What's going on, everybody? First off, you guys hear some booms in the background. We got some crazy thunderstorms coming in, so don't be alarmed. But if you do hear it, I wanted to make sure you guys understood. That's what it is. It's not fireworks. It's not things blowing up. It's not zombie apocalypse going on. Nothing like that. So I took yesterday off for Father's Day. Uh, just killed. Got a lot of work done, basically, that I needed to do. Uh, we got an SGC order out. Um, a lot of packages had to go out in the mail. And I wanted to come with some content, and thankfully, I had some uh, you guys out there give me some ideas for content, along with some uh, good links to stuff. So, first off, I want to talk about eBay just pushed a message out today, before we get into today's video. And I'm just curious what everybody's thinking on to this, because eBay has now, is it no longer my email, I must have deleted it. Well, eBay basically has changed their 30-day policy. So... What that means is the people that do not accept returns, they should still force it on 30 days for item is not described as a listing. Well, now it's no longer 30 days. It's three days if you don't accept returns, which is good to a point that people aren't going to be able to turn or do returns for values going down for the reason being it's not item is described and all that stuff. But... They're always going to find a way around it, so it makes you start wondering, are they going to start damaging cards and saying, oh, well, the item was damaged, I just saw this, da-da-da-da-da. Kind of crazy. I mean, they had good good stuff onto it, but I'm really hoping, long run, we start figuring stuff out like that, especially with eBay. Um, I, I like the initial intent behind it, but I just know that that means now their people are going to do other things so they could uh, do returns on people which is not good good idea to me but i think it's going to lead to other uh bad things happening let me know what you guys think on to it but that was the only thing they really changed the 14 days is still 14 30 still 30 but if you don't accept returns they're still forced it upon you but it's only three days if there's like item is not described type deal or as in listing or something like that they word it as. But, oh, I did get a card in the mail today. I've been waiting on this for over a week. Uh, Vince Carter, finest rookie, PSA 10. Really, I like these cards. Now, Grant, the scuffs and stuff are on the, not the case, but on the uh, team bag type deal. So, pretty cool, newer label. Vince Carter was a great player out there. Uh, I still recall when he gave his spot up for Jordan. So, we're going to pick one up. You never know what will happen with him down the road. Actually, I won that in a Raz. I forgot. But, I think here, that's pretty much it for mail coming in. Let's talk about today's stuff. As again, this came from uh, one of you guys out there. And, with that being said, you got to check the description of what you're purchasing on eBay. Grand, that's how this guy's going to get away with it. I don't agree with it. I don't necessarily call it a scam. I call it bad business ethics because it's just not right all the way around. Some people label this as a scam, and it could very well be. Let me pull this up for you all once I figure out where my exploit just went to. There we go. So as you can see, this is the guy here. Has 98% feedback on almost 7,000 star things out there which means he's probably sold a heck of a lot more because we know you only get about a third of uh people actually leaving you feedback anymore but if you look here please note that we are unable to offer combined shipping to the u.s addresses for our auction listing for bidding purposes please add display please add the displayed shipping charge with your bid amount to determine total cost of the item and they're charging restocking fee, which I don't think eBay is allowing anymore, but I'd have to look into that. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, dude's an international shipper, right? Niceville, Florida. So he's not combining shipping, and it's only says for auctions. So my guess is if I hit buy and nows, that he's going to combine shipping. So, the next thing you always want to do is you see stuff like this, check the feedback onto it. We're going to pull it up here. 
two negative uh, ones in the last 12 months. And it's all basically on the shipping. And if you're going to do that to somebody to where you're going to charge them shipping on each thing, you better send in different, and every, every card or item should be in a different package. Of course they're not. He's going to combine them all in one package and make a ton off of it. And I started looking like this dude here bought two cards, so he probably spent $8 on to it. That was two PSA graded cards. If he would have sent it like first, or um, not first class, but priority mail, it would make sense because you're going to spend over $8.30. But I started looking through, and it's just the whole way through here. I'm just like really surprised. And the guy just, you know, was like, oh, everybody's playing victim, da 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 da. Well, I got it, but here's the one that really gets me. This dude here, same way through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 23 items won. That means he spent close to $100 in shipping. He just, uh, the guy doesn't want to offer. So he collected on the shipping to make up losses on cards because uh, the Culver only selling for $12.50. To me, it sounds like you're a disgruntled seller when you're doing that. If you can't offer combined shipping and take what you put this out there as, whether it's an auction or whatever it may be, then I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't be selling, you know. But it, it goes through here when you read the comments. I would stay far, far away from anybody that does not offer combined shipping at all. And, you know, you got to do your due diligence on this stuff. I know a lot of people like to snipe. The way I snipe my stuff is I look usually like a day in advance or the morning of, and then I read the descriptions, and then I set myself on the, what do they call it, the follow list or whatever it is. That way I know I've already looked at it, and it's something that can be worked around, and I agree with their shipping method. But for people just clicking away and buying, you know, you got to be careful with that stuff because these guys will get you every single time. And this guy, even me, should have listened to the bad reviews, and he didn't. There's just more here. Another do a 40 feedback. But this is only two, oh, two pages worth of it, but he has a lot more. I'm just not too sure. Oh, past month. I guess we go 12 months. We can go even go further. But everything on to it, I mean, like I said, just so you don't fall into place and get into this stuff, guys, make sure you uh, read the description of the items. And if you can get to it beforehand, ask the question, do you combine shipping? I mean, if they say no, I just stay away right off the bat. But yeah, this was just one that was sent to me, and I was like, wow, that's just insane. That you're having people spend that kind of money. And I mean, these aren't 99 cent cars. I mean, a lot of these 90, 90 dollars, 100 some dollars. You know, I look at when somebody buys multiple stuff off of me. And I don't even take in consideration label, bubble envelope, box, any of that stuff, you know. To me, that's already in the price I sold it for. And I'm taking shipping. It's the postage that I'm paying to mail it based off the weight. And I look at it this way is that what is the rate that I'm going to be sending it at? out to them and that's what i charge i mean sometimes i might be off 20 or 30 cents on my guess i i have no idea but on here you also gotta remember ebay's taking a percentage of what they're collecting for shipping against you too and that's why i said sometimes you may be off you may charge four dollars for shipping and it costs three dollars and 23 cents but when you look at it, ebay's already taken like 50 cents of that from you so, yeah, you get a little bit there, but that also covers your ink and your label and your bubble envelope and whatever else you use to pack with. Um, but, yeah, kind of crazy with this stuff out here. As far as being a scam artist, it, it's in the gray area to me of uh, what I would call a scam artist. Some people will call him that. Some won't. I just think he has bad business ethics and is a penny pincher and wants, knows that his cars aren't selling where he wants to on auctions or whatever it may be. So he's going to try to make every last penny out there and just hit you on the shipping charges. And the feedback says it all across the board. So always check feedbacks. And even though if it's green, read the feedbacks for a while. Because sometimes you can't leave 
the person a negative feedback, you have to leave a positive. So always check that as well, too, on to it. But this was brought to my attention and asked if I could do a video talking about this stuff. And I'm using the example that was given to me off of this eBay seller here. Always, always try to read your stuff ahead of time so you don't fall into play with this stuff. If you send an email to them and they don't respond back about, you know, combining shipping, stay away from it. I mean, I purposely put into my stuff, I will look at uh, combined shipping once all auctions end for the night and stuff like that there. And I just rough guess it. I mean... You know, I know eBay's going to charge it per this weight and all this stuff there. And I just look at it and like, all right, you know, four bucks, four fifty, whatever it may be, depending on what I'm shipping out to the person. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Hopefully, you guys have a good week out there. Uh, be back at you tomorrow with another video offhand of, uh, man, of uh, some Instagram break stuff that was sent to me by a few people now today. And I'm just really in shock by it still. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think about eBay's new policy too. Because I'm kind of curious what everybody else thinks offhand. I think it has a good intent, but I think it's going to lead to having worse ways of people trying to return stuff in a way. Uh, I could just see this going really, really bad to where people are bending and scratching up cards and everything else. But I don't know, that might fall in that three-day thing as well, too, with it. I, I tried to call eBay earlier, and I was just on hold, even though I got an account in a store and all that stuff, because I was curious on to it, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the response. They don't know. it have to go up higher. It's case by case and all that stuff on to it. But if anybody else knows, please put in the comments, because I'd like to know the answer to that. Other than that, thank you, everybody, for the support to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys see stuff out there, I mean, I respond to a lot of the emails that I get. I, actually, I respond to almost all the emails I get out there and, and the comments. And some of the stuff, you know, is, makes sense. If I start seeing stuff, it's repetitive to put a video out just to bring it up. Because some people may know not to do stuff like this. And other people might be like, oh, wow, I didn't even catch stuff like this. I don't buy a lot on eBay. But I need to start reading everybody's fine print out there. It just brings us back to being aware in the community itself. All right, everybody. Take care. See you all next video.